Okay, so I probably, as you know, this is my second video I'm doing, and um, I just wanted the first, just the lighting change just there, so I'm really sorry. Um, firstly, I just want to apologize for my video cutting off before, because um, I got a phone call from my mother, which I had to take. So, um, I never got to finish it, but there was barely nothing left, but in that video, I was telling you what stuff I like and what I don't and yada yada yada. Not that I have much makeup or anything, but anyways. Um, so I thought this video I'd do like some facts about me. And I haven't prepared any of this, so this is gonna be totally my mind speaking. So I am going for it. I'm not gonna do like fifty facts about me because I can't be bothered right now. I mean maybe in a later date I will, but currently, okay. So I am literally finding facts that is coming from this table. So, firstly, I have the iPhone 5C. Um, I got this during Easter and I absolutely love it because the phone I had before was this really, really cheap Blackberry. It was like the Curve 9210 something or other. And I absolutely hated it um, because the memory ran out. I tried to download one app and it didn't work. Uh, there's no Instagram on it and my life is on Instagram right now. Um, I have better things to do, it's just in general I cannot stop off of Instagram. So um, I really like this phone, it works really well. Um, I know that iPhones I think having some bad publicity right now and they're saying that you know iPhones are really bad but I really like mine. And I have a protective cover because I am known for two things. One, I usually have really greasy fingerprints so um, it gets all over the place and two, I when I was like angry, what I used to do is I used to use, I don't have anger issues or anything, it's just for the fun of it as a cranky teenager, I used to throw my Blackberry against walls and I can't do this with this. So in worst case scenario, I pretend this is a Blackberry and throw it somewhere, I am prepared. And I usually have a case on it, I just took it off for this video. Um, my home screen is of my dog. And then my other screen, when you get inside, is of some daisies. I guess I'll show you these in a while. I only have two screens, so there we go. Four screens. So, daisies, and they're really pretty. And um, my main thing is Instagram. I use it all the time. Please don't look at like what's there, but I'm just showing you my Instagram. Okay, so, what else? Okay, hobbies. Let's go on to that. So, um, I love to sing, and I don't like sing random songs, but I, I'd like to sing professionally one day. Um, I sing everything. I love musical theatre singing. Um, I do that all the time. I just took a Lambda exam, and for those of you who don't know what Lambda is, it's London Academy of Musical and Dramatic Arts, and um, it was really fun, and I did a grade three, um, and I haven't started it yet, so I, they just moved me up to grade three. So, um... Okay. Um... Um, I'm gonna stop now. No, I'm not. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so, um, hobbies. So, I love singing, musical theatre. Um, I also love pop. I'm not like one of those people who are very old fashioned, so I love pop music. My favourite songs right now are Problem by Harry Graham Grande and all that stuff. Um, I love Problem, like it's my ringtone, and I listen to it in my alarm in the morning. I have this slight obsession, and I created an Apple account in the US just so I could get Problem early. Um, I'm like fancy right now. I'm like I'm kind of on that stage. What happens with me is I listen to a song until I get bored of it. So that's another fact about me. Um, and I listen to it so many times. I listen to it as my ringtone. I listen to everything until I get so bored of it that I switch to the next song. So currently I'm stuck on Problem by Ariana Grande. Um, I love Fancy though. Um, well, I'm kind of going back to that Britney Spears mood, and I'm going. I, I'm starting to like Oops, I did it again and Hit Me Baby one more time. I love those. Oops, I did it again. Na, 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 na. But uh, it was really fun, and I, I sing to these like every day. If I'm doing anything boring, like tidying my room, which I don't do every day. I'm usually a messy pig, but um, when I do, I listen to that, which means I listen to it quite a lot right now because I'm half term and I have nothing better to do with my life. Um, what else? What can I say? Okay, 
Um, I love to dance, but I suck at it. So I've kind of given up on that dancing ambition. When I was like six or seven, I used to love to dance and I dance. And I watched a video yesterday of me dancing. I used to think I was the best dancer in the world. Mm -hmm. Boy, my, has my opinions changed. I mean, I suck at dancing so bad. Like, I think I dance like Jay-Z or something. I'm not sure. Do you say Jay-Z dance? I don't know. I, I look like some really cool rapper who's like breaking it down. But I look like a Teletubby dancing. And I mean, honest to God, if I was wearing eyeliner, as I said in my last video, my eyeliner makes me look like Shrek. If I was to use eyeliner, my Shrek eyeliner, and my Teletubbies, I would be like a Shrek tubby cross. I mean, that's how bad it would look. Um, so, I suck at dancing. I've kind of given up on that ambition. I don't, like, I do ballet, like every 12-year-old child does. Um, but I started really late, so I'm like not very good. And I have really long legs and really long arms. Um, and I'm the oldest in my class, so I just switched ballet school. Um, but I wanted to take a street dance class. I think there's a mosquito in here. Um, I wanted to take a street dance class for a brief, a brief amount of time, but then, um, kind of gave up on that hope. Um, what else can I say about me? I thought these were two things I had in mind right now. Um, I don't walk my dog while we're at it there. Um, my dog gets taken by a dog walker every day. She's not really a dog walker. She is another dog. Um, and those two dogs are hooked up. He's a Jack Russell called Riley. And it is so disgusting. She picks her up at 8 a.m. in the morning with her dog Riley. And then they go back. They smooch and do some stuff. And I'm not kidding. They really do smooch. And then, good thing my dog is neutered. And then they go out to the park and they run around. And then they come back and then sleep some more. But it is so gross. She picks them up in the morning. And they go to the door. And they smooch it out and I mean it is so gross it's like get a room and I mean they're dogs but it was just it was so gross I saw it this morning for like the second time and every single time it gets me it is so gross and everybody says she does it every morning and like my dog's a total human she's a total sap she's been raised to think she's a human so you know she stretches she reads the newspaper not like literally reads it she's like a little cat in that sense she'll pop up and she'll put the two paws on the newspaper and make herself comfortable and it's so cute when she goes out in the rain I'm not trying to make this a video about my dog it's meant to be about me but dog's part of my life so there we go and so she used to go out in the rain and if it's raining, she hates the rain. So even if she's wearing a coat, she hates hot coats as well because she knows it will rain. So she puts the little brakes on. So she refuses to go out and she does this little stretch like this. And she refuses to move. And it's so cute. And you kind of have to give her a little kick out of the rain. I mean, we don't like kick her. She's so small. You couldn't kick her off. You'd like break a bone. Not us. She would. But, um, yeah. But it's so sweet. Um, I don't want to reveal my location yet. So, um,. I live in London, as I said before, not exactly telling you where I live in London, I hope this doesn't have like a tracking feature. Um, this is the first time I've made a YouTube video other than the one I made before. Actually, that's not true. I made a YouTube video when I was about 10 years old, I'm 12 now, and I'm almost 13, my birthday is June 22nd, um, and oh boy, was it probably the worst thing. Because nothing was kind of loose. I had it all written down on like a page of script. And I said, was up, was double Z, it's your girl. So I'm now revealing myself. And then I said some random username, which I came up with. I think I went onto this like website called Random Username Generator. And it came up with something like rocks. Rocks from mud or something. But with like a little four to make it all nifty and stuff. And it was just awful. And then I had like a list of my favorite YouTubers, but the problem is, is I love YouTube. Like my life has been on YouTube, so I thought I might as well create one. I mean, even on my Instagram it says YouTube obsessed. Um, but I think my first video I did, like in my blog video that I just did now, I like made a list of all the YouTube people I liked, but um, like some of them, like three I think. But I like like so many YouTubers that I listed them all in that last video, and I swear that took up like ten minutes because. I was showing you guys their accounts, and it was so stupid because if you guys weren't watching, you didn't want to see me, I don't know, I, I haven't had any views yet, so I can't really say you guys yet, but um, I was showing them and like, I'm, I was like, I was going, oh, I love Superwoman, and I love, you know, I, I love Grace Helbig, and I really want Grace Helbig's hair, and yada, 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 you know, when she was blonde, 
Um, and Alexa. That was really funny. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to keep going. Favorite movies. Um, I never have had a favorite movie, and I don't know why. Just in general, I, I just enjoy movies. Um, I don't really have a favorite. I used to, my, my used to be favorite movie was Dumb and Dumber. If you guys have seen it, like, give it a thumbs up down below. I think that's what they do now. Um, but I used to love it. And it was, like, my favorite movie. But the problem was, is I was, like, seven, so I didn't understand half of the jokes. So it was kind of a pointless movie for me to watch. Um, my personality right now, well, I think I have a very unique personality, so I can't really describe. I'm not trying to compliment myself, but in general, I have, a, like, a personality you cannot pinpoint. Um, and I think one day what I will do is, for me, sugar is alcohol. I mean, I've never experimented with this because I don't drink since I'm 12. But, um, if I did, I would probably be exactly like I am most of the time. I swear, sugar is like cocaine to me. Like, I go totally whack. And, like, my friends at school now refuse to feed me sugar. And if they have a cookie, they'll give it to everybody else other than me, just for the fact that I don't, like, explode. Because, I swear, one day I will do this and I will look like one of Tyler Oakley's drunk coming challenges. And... I will look so stupid. I mean, I can't even tell you. Okay. Um, dreams and ambitions. I'm just coming up with this on the spot. Okay. I really, really, really want to go to one of those YouTube fan fests or I just fest or something like that. I'm like, really want to go. It's been like my obsession for the past five minutes. No, I'm kidding. It's been like for a couple of weeks now. And it's so cool, and I really wanted to go and meet all the YouTubers. And I think one happened here a few weeks ago, because I was checking some kids in my school Instagram account, and they're all showing, oh, I'm Miss Cascali, oh, I'm Miss Luella, and I was like, I hate you so much. Um, I'm sorry if one of those is you and you're watching right now, but I am so jealous. Um, so yeah, that was one of my ambitions. Um, my ambition last year was to go see a Lady Gaga concert, because she was my first idol. Yes, Lady Gaga was my first idol, so I'm going to turn out great. Um, I love Lady Gaga, though. I still do. Um, and last year, I, I go to the Capitol Jingle Bell Bowl and Summertime Bowl every year, and she was per performing at Christmas, and I almost died. She looked at me, and I mean looked at me directly in the eye, and winked at me. And I swear I died. So, um, places I've been. I do not travel very much. Um, well, no, that's not true. I travel a lot, but I only travel to, like, one place, and everybody else goes everywhere. I travel to one place. That one place is Toronto. Um, I used to want to live in Toronto when I was little, because all my family was there, and I thought it would be really nice. Um, but then we went there last Christmas, and if any of you guys are from Toronto or anywhere in Canada, or the top end of the United States, the northern part... Uh, you will know that there was an ice storm that was like living hell. Um, and by that, I mean that we arrived there thinking that we had a place to stay, but then we got a call from my uncle saying, I'm sorry, you can't stay with us because our electricity is out and you're going to have to find a place. So we're driving in this cab, no idea where we're going. We're making travel around the whole of the city, being warned that we can't drive too fast because a tree might fall on us and we might die. Um, so then finally, nobody picks up their phone lines because everybody wants to preserve energy. And finally one person picks them up, she says she does have energy, and then we go over and we stayed over at hers. But it was very sudden, it was very desperate, and it was so freaking. And it was minus 22 or minus 30 or something. And after that, I thought, this is Arctic temperatures, do I really want to live here? And it was kind of a no. So I kind of blew that idea, but we still go there three times a year. And I love it there always. I mean, I have really lovely family there. Um, so I, I enjoy going. We go once in Easter, once in summer, and once in the winter. For a month in the summer, um, for I think majority of the vacation in Easter, like a week we're here and two weeks we're in there. And then for Christmas, uh, for Christmas, yeah, we go the whole time. Um, we just like here, I'm not sure if anybody's heard about it, but there's something called the White Thistle Bowl. So we also schedule our dates around that because it's just like a um, thing for 12 to 13 year olds, which I love going to. But next year will be my last year going there, so um, we can start going early now. But I really want to go to this Team Tapper Bowl now, so I'm, that's a good reminder to me. I need to find out when it's happening, or if it's too late to get tickets. Um, 
so I've been trying to do a couple of facts about me. I'm not guessing I got any facts in there, but this is you hearing my voice, hearing me talk. So um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to come up with like a creative exit, so I'm going to do like this right now. Bye. Bye.